जय स्टूडेंट सो दिस इज आर लेक्चर फोर इन द कम्प्लेक्स लेक्चर सीरीज एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर इज सिंक्रोनस काउंटर्स इन आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड कवर ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर्स सो वट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सिंक्रोनस काउंटर्स एंड देन वी विल कवर अप काउंटर एंड डाउन काउंटर एज वी हैव डन इन केस ऑफ ए सिंक्रोनस काउंटर्स सो द बेसिक डिफरेंस इज इन केस ऑफ सिंक्रोनस काउंटर्स ओल्ड फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स हैव कॉमन क्लॉक्स दैट मीन्स ए सिंगल क्लॉक कनेक्शन is applied to the clock input of all flip flops present in the circuit that means all flip flop will operate simultaneously okay as per their input connections whatever we will be connecting the connecting at the input of the flip flop according to that all flip flops will work simultaneously that means either all the flip flops will work or none of the flip flop will work but this is very much clear that now that there is no foundation to use T flip flop only. That means any flip flop can be used. Any clock can be used. That means either positive edge or negative edge. There is no foundation. Any clock can be used for any operation. That means up or down. And the number of flip flops to be used depends on the maximum count value. The counter has to count up to what binary value. The number of bits in that binary value will decide the number of flip flops of use again so let's take an example if we want to design more 32 counter more 32 synchronous counter more 32 means 0 to 31 these will be the 32 stages so 0 to 31 means 0000000 to 11111 so that means five bits are there that means five flip flops will be required okay so this more 32 can also be named as five bit synchronous counter okay so this is the basic now let's start with the circuit design so Mode eight synchronous up counter. Mode eight now mode eight again. We can see that mode eight means eight stages. Eight stages will be zero to seven in binary. It will be zero 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 to one one one. That means three flip flops. Now flip flops is up to me. Whichever flip flop we want to use, but I will again prefer three T flip flops. Why? just to avoid confusion and because in case of asynchronous counter we had used t flip flops so in case of synchronous counters as well i am again using t flip flops okay so three t flip flops will be required again their output will be qc qb and qa out of which again this will be my msb and this will be lsb as in case of asynchronous circuits so this qc qb qa is my flip flop output or if i read these three values together then i can say that this is state of my counter okay state of my counter was the state of the circuit so present state qc qb qa the three flip flops in my circuit will comprise the state of the counter and initially as in case of asynchronous counter we had used clock If clock is zero, all flip flop outputs are zero. Now, as soon as I start applying the clock pulses, the count will move from one stage to another stage, and that stage will de depend on the type of operation I want to perform. Here we have mentioned up counter. That means the next stage will be one higher than the previous stage. So this present stage is zero zero zero. The next stage will be zero zero one. Similarly, if the present state is zero zero one, the next state will be zero one zero. Similarly, for zero one zero, next state will be zero one one. For zero one one, next state will be one zero zero. One zero zero, next state will be one zero one. One zero one, next state will be one one zero. One one zero, next state will be one one one. And seven, seven, next state will be. If we want to add, then it will be eight. But eight will require four bits. but it is not possible to accommodate four bits so this 
will again go back to the initial state of 0 0 0 okay so this is how these the counter will transition make transition from present state to next state now further if you want to check this this is qc here and this is qc plus 1 now i am going to check how this t flip flop is going to make these transitions that means i am expecting this qc to be zero and again qc plus 1 is zero that means there is no change in the output at what value of the t there, there will be no change in the output that means i am going to use the excitation table of t flip flop which is saying that if input is 0, pre present input is 0 and next input is also 0, that means there is no change in the output, that means input must be 0 because at 0 input of T flip flop, output does not change and if T is equal to 1, output gets toggled. Again, we can say 0, 0, 0, 0 means again no change, 0, 0, no change, 0, 1, 0, 1 means toggled, toggle, how is toggling possible if T is equal to 1. 1, 1, no change, no change means again t is equal to 0, 1, 1, no change, t is equal to 0, 1, 1, no change, t is equal to 0, 1, 0, change, toggle, that means t is equal to 1. Similarly, proceeding further, I can check for qb and qb plus 1, okay, qb and qb plus 1, again we can check here 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, no change, that means 0, 0, 1 toggle toggle means 1 1 1 no change 0 1 0 toggle that means 1 0 0 no change 0 0 1 toggle 1 1 no change 1 0 toggle that means 1 similarly for this QA and QA plus 1. Using these two columns, I can write TA. You can check here this 0 and this 1 toggle 1, 1, 0 toggle 0, 1 toggle 1, 0 toggle 0, 1 toggle 1, 0 again toggle 0, 1 toggle 1, 1 sorry, 1, 0, toggle, okay, this 0, I have placed mistakenly. So, here we can check that these are the three columns for flip-flop inputs. So, TC, TV and TA, okay. So, here we can check that there are two ones in TC column. So, min terms are for this, that means 3, this 3 and 7 are the min terms. So, TC is equal to min terms 3 and 7. Similarly, for TB, these are 4 ones corresponding to 1, 3, 5 and 7. So, here you can check TB is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7 min terms and TA, everything is 1. That means every min term from 0 to 7. So, these are all expressions for the min term expression for TC, TB, TA. Now, next step is to solve K maps for this TC, TB, TA as function of the previous outputs QC, QB, QA. So, let us solve the K maps, preparing the K map layout QC, QB and QA. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, 6. Let us feed these terms 3 and 7. That means this a pair will be there and this corresponds to this 1, 1. That means QC is equal to, sorry, this TC. This TC, first k map, it is first k map. This one for TC, TC is equal to QB, QA. Okay, QB and 
Q. Similarly, we can prepare for T B. If I prepare for next K map for T B one three five seven. That means this is one, this is three, this is five and seven. So a quad will be there, and for this the expression will be T B is equal to. That means this this one is common, which corresponds to Q A. So T B is equal to Q A. Okay. So T B is equal to Q A. T C is equal to Q B Q A. Now, and the last one, T A is equal to zero to seven. That means all entries will be there. That means the K M F will produce an answer zero. Okay. So these are the three expressions. Now let let's make these connections. First connection, which signifies that this is a synchronous counter, is the presence of a common clock. Okay. So common clock means all flip flops are getting connected to a common clock. This is the first connection. Okay. Then T C is equal to Q A. T C is equal to Q B Q A. So that means there will be an AND gate, which will be having one of the inputs as Q A and another input as Q B, and the output of this will be connected to T C. Okay. Similarly, T B is getting connected to Q A. So this is Q A. So this can be connected to T B. And T A, T A is equal to one. That means this T A is equal to One and the outputs can be taken for display as well. So, so this thing and similarly from here. So this can display my count. So this can be labeled as count display. So another point of difference which we can make between a synchronous counter and asynchronous counter is that. In asynchronous counter, we had first designed the counter and then observed that whether this counter is able to produce the binary counting or not. But in case of this synchronous counter, we can see that we have first designed, we have first prepared the counting that this is the expected behavior. If this is the count, then next count should be this. If this is the count, next count should be this. And in the end. to justify to obtain that counting we have prepared the circuit using expressions okay so in case of asynchronous counter counter was prepared first then we saw that it, the counter was able to generate counting but in synchronous counter we have prepared the counting first and to generate that counting we have designed a circuit so this is my synchronous counter okay similarly i can prepare A mode eight synchronous down counter as well. Okay, so for down counter, again you can see here this present state is same zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero one one one. Like in case of present mode eight up counter zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero. One zero one 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 zero one one one. Okay. So present state is present state are the possibilities that these could be the present states. And if I apply a pulse on this present state, how this counter is going to behave? It should be giving me a count that is one less than the present count. Okay. In case of up counter, the next state count was one greater than the previous count. But in case of down counter, the next state will be one less than the previous so you can check for zero for zero it cannot go into minus that means it will reach the maximum positive value so for zero the next state will be triple one for one zero zero one we will be subtracting one from that that means one step down from zero zero one so one step down from zero zero one will be zero 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 similarly if zero one zero is the present state That means if two is my present state, what will be the next state? If it is down counter, after two I will be getting one. That means zero zero one is my present. It will be my next state. Similarly, if three is my present state, two will be my next state. 
if 4 is my present state, then 3 will be the next state. If 5 is the present state, 4 will be the next state. If 6 is the present state, 5 will be the next state. Similarly, if 7 is the present state, 6 will be the next state. So, present to next transition will be showing 1 minus the present state will be giving me the next state. Okay. The rest of the procedure is exactly similar. That means, we have to see QC and QC plus 1 and write the value for TC. Okay. So, here you can see QC is 0, QC plus 1 is 1. That means, 0 to 1 output has toggled. Output has toggled. So, TC must be equal to 1. Again, you can check here 0, 0. That means, output has not changed. So, T is equal to 0. 0, 0, output has not changed, T is equal to 0, 0, 0, output has not changed, again T is equal to 0, 1, 0, output has changed, so T is equal to 1. Similarly, we have prepared the rest of the table for TC. Similarly, you can check for QB and QB plus 1. These two present and next state variations will be giving me the value of TB. You can check one of the specimens, one, one or two values, 0 is there. 1 is there, that means output has toggled. So, that is why TB is equal to 1. Randomly checking 1 is there, 0 is there, that means output has toggled. Output is toggled, so again 1 is there. So, 1 is there and here is also 1, that means output has not changed. So, it, if it has not changed, then that means input is equal to 0. Similarly, I can prepare the table, complete table for TB and similarly, I can prepare the complete table for TA. So, all these values from present to next state, similar that means QA and QA plus 1. These two can be checked and TA can be written. You can check that QA is 0, QA is A plus 1 is 1, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0. That means at every point of time they are getting toggled. So, that is why all the entries in TA column are 1. Now, noting down the main terms, TC, TC main terms, that means these two 0 and 1. This one corresponds to 0 and this one corresponds to 4. So, that is why min terms for TC are 0 and 4. Similarly, for TB there are 4 ones. You can check that these are 0, 2, 4 and 6 and for TA everything is 1. So, all min terms in the range of 0 to 7. Again, we will be making 3K maps. If I make 3K maps, First for TC with 0 and 4 terms 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. TC is 0 and 4. So, this will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and this will be 4. So, it will be making a pair. So, this TC will be equivalent to if I mention QC, QB and QA. So, TC will be equal to QB bar and QA bar product. Similarly, if I prepare KMF for TB. It will be 0, 2, 4, 6. So, 0, 2, 4 and 6. That means this. That means 0, 0 and 1, 0. That means TB will be equal to QA bar. So, these K maps can you can solve, solve more systematically. I am more focusing on the process here. So, these K maps are already covered in unit 1 that are already known to you. So, in this way we have prepared K map again and again all entries of the K map will be filled with one value. So, that T A is again equal to 1. So, now all expressions are available to me. Now, I can design the circuit. So, clock will be again common to all. So, all clocks will be common and connected to a common point. So, this will be my clock and T A will be connected to 1, this T is connected to 1, T B is going to be connected to with Q A bar. So, this is Q A bar, it will be connected to T B. Similarly, T C is going to be connected with Q B bar, Q A bar. So, this is Q B bar and this is Q A bar, this is going to be connected with T C. Okay. So, these are the three connections which were available from the K map. 
and the outputs will be taken for display. So this will be my count display. Okay. So in this way we can prepare mode eight synchronous down counter. So we have prepared mode eight synchronous up counter, mode eight synchronous down counter. Similarly, if I am going to prepare mode six synchronous up counter, okay. That means now mode six means six stages. Six stages means zero to five. Zero to five means zero 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 to one zero one. One zero one means three flip flops. Three flip flops means three T flip flops. Okay, but the thing is one zero one. That means I am not going to count till the full scale three bit counting. Full scale three bit counting would have would have been zero 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 to one one one. And out of this, zero 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 to one zero one are going to be used, and one one zero and one one one, these two are not going to be used. So that that's why I will use these six and seven as don't care terms. Okay. So that's the only change. You have to identify whether there are any don't care terms or not in mode eight counter, mode eight up count counter, or mode eight down counter. There were no don't care terms. But in case of mode six counter, because mode is not equal to two raised to power n, in that case there will be don't care terms. So we have identified that six and seven will be my don't care. So the only change between the mode eight synchronous up counter and the mode eight, mode six synchronous up counter will be that that for six and seven there will be no further next state and no further flip flop inputs, and there will be change for five. In case of a normal three-bit up counter or mode eight counter, the next state of five would have been six. But in that, you can see that zero to five. That means after five, I must get zero again. So for one zero one as the present state, the next state should be zero zero and zero. Okay. So next state of five must be equal to zero. So that's the only change, and rest of the things you can. Check QC and QC plus one, and write TC. Then QB and QB plus one, and write TB. QA and QA plus one, and write TA. Okay. So you can check zero zero no change zero 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 no change zero 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 no change zero zero one toggle. Toggle means one, one, one. No change. Zero, one, zero, one, zero. Change. That means toggle. Toggle means one. There is a minor correction here. Similarly for QB, zero, zero. No change. Zero, zero, one. Toggle. One, one, one. No change. Zero, one, zero. Toggle. One, zero, zero. No change. Zero, zero, zero. No change. No change means zero. And then zero, one. Toggle. One zero. Toggle. Zero one. Toggle. One zero. Toggle. Zero one. Toggle. One zero. Toggle. Okay. So we can write min terms. There are two ones in this TC column, which corresponds to three and five. So here, the min terms will be three and five, and don't care will be six and seven. For TV, there are again two ones corresponding to one and three. So one and three will be there. This five will not be there. One and three are there. Six and seven will be the don't care term, and then TA. These are six ones. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So zero to five will be my main terms, and six and seven will be don't care terms. Okay. So we can solve these three K maps again. Q C Q B Q A 
0100011113 that means 0123 6 and 7 4 5 6 and 7 that means this will be the answer so tc will be equal to qb qa okay then next k map for tb this is for tb 135 0 1 and 6 and 7 i don't get 6 and 7 again here you can see tb is equal to so sorry 3 and 5 were there and 3 so there are corrections in these k maps because these values have changed okay so these are 3 and 5 3 and 5 and this is 1 and 3 only okay and this is 0 to 5 so for these three expressions we can prepare k maps for tc in terms of qc qb QA zero one zero 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 one 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 zero three and five zero one two three four five and then six and seven six seven so this will be the there will be two pairs that means TC will be equal to QC and this one corresponds to QA plus from here QB Q A, okay. Similarly, another K map for this T B. One and three are the min terms. Zero, one, two, three, and then six and seven are don't care terms. Okay. So one, three. That means there will be single pair. So this T B will be equal to for this zero. One zero 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 one 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 zero. That means this is equal to Q C bar, and from here Q A. So this is equal to T B, and then this T A. T A will be having zero one two three four five zero one two three four five and six and seven are don't care terms. So this complete will result as T A is equal to one. So T is equal to one. Now, using these three expressions, we can realize the circuit. That circuit, I am leaving it up to you. You can make it, or if you want to prepare, then we can also prepare. T C, Q C, Q C bar, T B, Q B, Q B bar, T A, Q A. Q A bar, common clock. Clock can be any one, positive edge or negative edge. Okay. So this T C T A is equal to one. That means this here, this is equal to one. T B is equal to Q C bar Q A. So for simple. Design. I am mentioning at QC bar and QA. Whenever the circuit becomes complex, we can also show the circuit in this form. And then for TC, TC is saying QC QA. So this is QC. This is QA. And then QB QA. So this is QB and this is QA. Okay. so these are the input connections and we can take the outputs for display count display okay so all these are t flip flops okay so with this we come to the end of the today's lecture thank you very much